Hey everybody, here's another How I Paint video and I'm going to show you how I painted the heavy pounders for Rumble Slam. Again, a very fast paint job if you've seen the um, Green Bruisers video. Uh, these guys went together very quickly. Um, so, started everyone off with the German Red Brown primer again. Um, I, I really like this. I think I said last time I really like this primer and it, um, it really works for me. So, prime them all real nice. Um, these two guys here got uh, Cardic Flesh as their uh, first flesh wash, uh, or flesh uh, base. So I uh, gave them a full coverage, um, didn't get all the pants and the hands and the boots of course, but um, their skin was fully covered in Cardic Flesh. Um, these two guys here, I'll stand that guy back up, came off of his MDF, temporary MDF base. They got Barbarian Flesh, it's an uh, Army Painter one. Um, just for a slightly different uh, tone. And then uh, this guy here got uh, uh, Dryad Bark um, as, his, uh, as his tone. Now he looks, he's gonna get much darker with the other colors that I use. Um, so then I gave uh, them some washes. So um, the Ogre got a Reichland Flesh, uh, Reichland Flesh Shade, as did uh, this guy here, okay. Um, the uh, two hobbits, um, I believe, yes, the two hobbits got uh, Seraphim Sepia. Um, and you can tell, like, there is a slight shade difference in their in their skin colors. Um, and um, I used um, uh, Strong Tone for this guy over here. Um, so once the washes were all done, I did an overbrush um, again. So uh, the Ogre got um, Cardic Flesh. Um, back on him. The, uh, this uh, Hobbit, actually these two guys got the Barbarian Flesh and then the this other Halfling, not Hobbit, Halfling got um, a little bit of Rin Flesh just to lighten it up. So um, they're just uh, a few different um, uh, overbrushing and some uh, slight dry brushing um, here and there just to get uh, slightly different skin tones. From afar you can't really tell the difference between these three I think. Although this guy does look darker than this one. They kind of look the same. Uh, you can definitely tell the ogre has a, a different um, different look to him. Um, this guy got a, um, a slight slight Bane Blade Brown um, dry brushing which was a little too stark so I um, uh, I think then I gave him another strong tone wash. I think later on, I actually gave him a, a, a non-oil wash, like later, later, um, just to darken him all up. And I think, um, other than his nose, um, yeah, it looks cool. I, he's, I would was hoping for a bit more of a brown. I've painted a, a, a dark skin color like this before, a um, similar, similar one, and I think I used a different brown, more of a, with a bit of reddish brown, and not so much dark. Maybe the, um, the non-oil just uh, made him a little, too dark from what I was looking for, but um, I think it's it's fine in the end. Um, I think it's okay. Nice little difference. Um, their uh, all their shorts were the same. Started off with Signar Blue Base, um, and then did a slight highlight with a mix with Signar Blue Highlight, and then uh, a top highlight with Signar Blue Highlight. And um, I think you can see. Yeah, you can you can see that. Nothing too stark. I don't. I, again, I'm not a big fan. This is actually uh, much starker than uh, usual. I like his little, uh, their little bums. Made sure that all their little bum cheeks had a little bit of, of uh, highlight on them. Why? Because I'm gonna be playing with my seven, nine, and ten year olds, and um, saying bum cheeks makes them laugh. So why not paint up their bum cheeks? Um, the white. Uh, I start off with um, Fenrisian gray on all the white, and then went over it with um, Althuan gray. And then I, I, I liked what I did with uh, the missiles on my um, uh, the Aeronautic Imperialis ships that I uh, painted recently. Um, so I over that white, I used uh, the contrast apothecary white um, to give them some shading. And um, yeah, it worked out again just fine. I think you can see. Let's see how they make that. Go. There we go. Um, it's, it does. I put it on a little heavy in places, so I did another. Um, uh, like a little highlighting with the Althuan gray. Um, I didn't want to go white white, but um, I think I think it's fine in like their little wristbands. I think it worked out fine. I actually I quite like his his shirt. I think that that's cool. It's like it's a little dark in here, and I um, 
I tried going over it with the Ulta One White, and I, I think the wash was just, or, you know, the, the wash, the apothecary white was just too thick. But uh, it's fine. Oh, I gotta do his teeth. I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna do his teeth. It'll be the same color as, um, as the Orcs, I think, which is, well, maybe I'll use Screaming Skull. Maybe Screaming Skull, or I think for the Orcs I used uh, Riding Flesh. Yeah, that's what I used. So it'll be one of those for his teeth. I gotta do his teeth. Can't forget. Don't, don't, don't let me forget, all right? Anyway, um, there we go. Almost done. Um, the hair, uh, this little guy got bootstrap leather with a, uh, I believe, in a Reichland, uh, Reichland flesh shade wash. Um, this guy for the reddish hair, um, Bloodstone. Yeah, Bloodstone, P3, one of my favorite colors as well. Um, I, I like the way it looks on his, on his hair. Let's see. Looks good. Um, the blonde guy, um, Averlyn Sunset with uh, Cassandora Yellow uh, Shade. Um, I've done blonde hair before and um, I would normally do another highlight, but actually I'm, I'm fine with the way it looks. I like what the uh, Cassandora Yellow did with the recesses. So he's got a little goatee that you can't you can kind of see there. Um, the uh, these two guys have gloves on, so just like with the um, that orc uh, grappler, I think um, he had the little uh, wristies. Um, Crick's Bane base with uh, I think two washes of known oil. And that's it. Easy. I like I like the way that turned out. Yeah, I really like that that color. You can kind of tell here. Um, and then he had a couple buckles on his boots quick uh, lead belcher. That was it. And that's it. Let's get back in focus. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Another, uh, that only took two days for those two guys. And I, if I could spend one full day painting, they would have been done in one full day for sure. But um, easy, easy to get them uh, done. Uh, I'm just going to varnish them. I'm waiting for the varnish. It's coming as soon as that's done. Excuse me. They'll be on the, on, in the ring, ready to go. My kids are super, super excited. I'm super excited. Um, we're going to probably start with like one guy at a time and then build up from there. But uh, we are looking forward to Rumble Slam. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, um, you know, I never say it, but please like, please subscribe if you, if you haven't already. Um, it seems weird saying that because I've never said that before. But um, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them. I, I do love the interaction. Um, go check out my likes and dislikes video for uh, the fact that I love this community and how we uh, communicate about our shared hobby. So um, please do so when possible. All right. Have a good one. Hopefully uh, you're taking care and continue doing so. Bye.